Hello there and welcome to Chandu.org on YouTube. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an Excel tracker using various features like tables, data validation rules and conditional formats. Before I get into the video, I just want to share a quick personal update. I am keeping really safe um, and I hope all of you are also safe and healthy and uh, uh, you're following the guidelines uh, of washing your hands and avoiding crowded places. Um, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, let's get into this particular video here. I have uh, received an email from one of the readers uh, a while ago and uh, they were asking, I've been looking at your YouTube. I need to create a file that would include this kind of information. And this is the inspiration for this particular video. While we are talking about the particular scenario mentioned by this reader, uh, it will be quite generic so that you can apply it for various situations as well. So let's just take a look, quick look at the requirement, which is they want to be able to track the name uh, and what kind of person they are, or whether they are a full time or a temporary or a visitor uh, to the facility and uh, which department uh, supposedly they're going but it is only applicable if you are a full-time or a temporary person a visitor does not really have a department associated with them and there are about eight departments and uh, and in each case they may have to sign uh, read and sign an SOP probably statement of purpose or statement of something or whatever and uh, you know how do you create and maintain this that's the question so uh, this particular video shows that I have already built the tracker here it is and I'm just gonna go and walk through the steps but first let's demonstrate this uh, I will add a new visitor um, or a new person and uh, we can put them in any particular type we could say they are uh, full time uh, or or temp or visitor using the data validation now if i say temp um, i will be able to select the department but if i select uh, for example visitor then there is nothing to select this does not open up uh, you you can just delete it and then what is the status of SOP you know have you not started it which will be in in that red orangey color or have you read it which will be light green or have you read and signed it which would become dark green so this is how that particular thing works and let's go ahead and create this from scratch so that you can understand how this is done so I will make a um, I will make a new worksheet where we will build the tracker too and uh, usually when you are building trackers or uh, spreadsheets that would be used by multiple people it's always a good idea to kind of make a heading on the top that makes the purpose of this obvious so my favorite way of doing this is make the row number one slightly wider and uh, and select that entire row and fill up some color in it usually one of the primary colors that are up there in the theme colors and then type the title uh, this would be SOP tracker and um, usually just center align it and make it nice and big and if possible make it bold that's it if you fancy you could also change the font but that's not really necessary and then we will set up the name required columns so the first column would be uh, name um, there are all these columns required i'll just uh, quickly copy paste them because i'm really lazy <laughs> and um, and then that's the type department and sop status uh, can be a bit wider now name can be anything but the type has to be one of the three types isn't it so what i'll do is i'll select these two rows i'll press ctrl t to first set up my table so this is my data entry table this is where all the data will go here uh, now name doesn't really have any requirement so we don't have any rule type would be one of the three types the types are full time temporary and visitor so I will select the type column I'll go to data click on data validation and where it says any value I'll say list and for small lists like these you can just type them here I'll say uh, full time temp visitor with commas and that will give you those three options there um, in, in the choices so now that we have set up the visitor conditions 
full time temp or visitor type let's go ahead and add a con input validation condition for department so they can pick one of the departments uh, because only full time or temp visitors can be attached to a department you know if it is a visitor then they they need not have a department associated with that we can't really select department um, and uh, we can't just set a validation rule that says department will be one of these seven departments so what we have is uh, i have already created a list of departments here and uh, i have set them up and i've called that as lst departments so now what we want is we want an if condition that would just simply look at if table 2 at the rate type that means the current rows visitor type is um, is not equal to visitor then then i want the lst departments else i want uh, just na or something like that so this would be an a but if i change this to full time or whatever then this will be a list of departments so once we have uh, uh, set up an if condition like that this is the condition that we will use to create our data validation here so we select this particular cell we go to formulas define name and we will create a list um, of departments and um, and this would be simply that formula if table two at the rate type not equal to visitor lst departments na and then we click ok um, i believe that name already exists so i'm just gonna create um, um allowed departments and we just paste that okay and then once that is done uh, we can just select uh, one of these options and then see what would be the outcome in, in that list obviously you know with the if formula works but what we really want is when i select a full time i want to be able to select one of the departments here whereas when i select a visitor i want to be able to not select anything because there's no department where they can go so how do i do that so we now select this department cell and then we can go to data validation and then say this is a validation of the type list that is equal to allowed departments and when you click OK, it will simply accept that and you can pick a department now. But if you change to visitor, then this drop down list has no options and you can just delete that. With regards to SOP status, we can have three statuses, not started, read and read and signed. And I will call this as LST status and we can select this, set up the list validation equal to LST status. Now, if you don't remember the list names that you're creating, you can simply press F3 key at any point when you are attaching a list and pick from the uh, lists that are shown. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we will give this um, somebody as a name and then we will do this. The next step is we also want to be able to have some sort of a highlighting to say whether somebody has started, not started or um or they have completed read and signed the sop to do this we just select this particular uh, column and and we can use conditional formatting so home conditional formatting and set up three rules one is read one is read and signed and one is not started i'll show you one of these rules so if if the cell is equal to read and signed then it needs to be in having full green color background uh, likewise, if it is not started, it just needs to have text in a different color. So once you have that, you can uh, you you have uh, your tracker ready, and you can use this to keep track of things. One of my favorite ways of building the trackers and using them is to obviously enable some sort of conditional formatting, so you can visually see what's happening and what needs attention. And uh, when you have this as tables, you can immediately enable filters and and take a look at who has not started or who have just read the SOP but not signed or clear the filters to look at the whole data. So I hope you found this particular video interesting. To download the tracker that is built in the video, just uh, go to the video description and grab that tracker. Uh, all the best uh, and um, good luck with building your trackers using Excel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.